Amiche, Sumogo Bedi, Nifama, Netogo Ibrahim, Nejamu Chabate. How is everyone? How are you? All right. I just spoke to you and greeted you in Bamana. Bamana is a language that comes from Mali. And what I did was I said, how is your family? A long time since I saw you and I gave you my name. I said, my name is Ibrahim, my first name, and my last name is Jabate. But many of you know me as Baba Ira, all right? And today, what I wanna do is to give you a taste, just a small taste of what, um, my, what I'm gonna be offering. And what I'm gonna be offering is Bamana classes, the language of Bamana. I thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to do this because what it does is not only strengthens my skill, but it also helps to share with the community. I'm not a native speaker of Bamana or Manding language, but I'm learning. And I think that by me giving you this, it's gonna definitely help strengthen what I'm doing. I am also the founder of Maladelphia. Maladelphia is a Philadelphia-based organization that practices traditional drum and dance and music. We'll talk a little bit about that on the next slide. I hope everybody is good. Yeah, there we are, Maladelphia Performing Arts. So Maladelphia Performing Arts, we present traditional West African drumming, dance, music, and mask. But something else that we do is we also add our own little flavor to it because we're from Philadelphia. And so um, it's a group of young brothers that really are serious about their music, serious about the culture and their culture, what we like to call cultural custodians to the art form. So I'm excited to be a part of my Philadelphia Performing Arts. And where are we doing this at? We're doing it in Philadelphia, Southwest Philadelphia, at what we have established now as Philadelphia Studios. Beautiful studio space, check it out. Inside this space, we have drums. Um, we have the capability to tune drums and rehead skins. We have balafone. We have a lot of different instruments. And so it's just a wonderful thing to have a home for the art that you take so very seriously. All right, moving on. Let's talk about what it is that I wanna do with you all today in this short video and what I want you to invest in, invest in yourself, all right? This is my program. It's called Foley. It is polite to speak. Foley means to speak. And I'm just always drawn back to my grandmom and my mom and my dad who are all ancestors right now. And I think about them. And I'm gonna explain to you why, because if you walked into a room and you didn't speak, you were in big trouble, all right? And so introductory Bamana lessons, language lessons, we're gonna start our first Zoom on April 29th. It's gonna go from six o'clock to 6.45. And I'm asking that people pay $50, you can cash at me. And it's not just for that one Zoom class, but we're gonna have, oh, actually I've already established a Facebook support group where I'll be adding information. That's a private support group. I'll be adding support materials and activities. Um, we're gonna record the Zoom classes so we can upload those there and other various online resources as well will be at your um, disposal so that you can really learn how to greet and speak at least basic Brahmana, and that's my goal. Awesome. So yeah, like I said, it's just a wonderful thing to be able to do this, to be able to share. You know, I can remember my, my, my father, you know, he, he, my father and my mom, and actually all my family is from North Carolina. And the first time I went to Africa, I was like, wow, this is, this is, this is North Carolina, this is down South. It reminded me so much of down South. And so what was it? I remember sitting on my father's porch and cars driving by just every once in a while, a car would drive by and they would roll the window down and reach their hand out the car and wave. And every car did this. And I said, dad, like, do you know every one of these people? He said, no, he didn't know them. But 
what it was was it was a part of the culture norm, the cultural norm to speak because it showed courtesy, it showed that respect, and it showed that you acknowledge someone as a human being. So one of the worst things that you could do is walk into a space and not acknowledge a human being. And so I, our African brothers and sisters know that. And as Africans, we know that. And so what do we do? We speak. And so in Mali, when we when people speak to, get to, to each other, there's this extended exchange of words. And if you don't know what you're listening to, you're like, what? What would just went down? It, it goes, sometimes it goes really fast. So that's the first thing I want to share with you all, because I feel like that's important. If you don't have that base, um, it's going to be difficult when you go to West Africa or if you meet people. So the first one is Eni Soguma. Eni Soguma. Eni Soguma means good morning. But me personally, I like to say great awakening or great arising because we're not sad and we're not mourning anybody. All right, we, we're, we're rejoiceful even in this time. And so we're gonna say great arising with any sogoma, it is you, all right? Sogoma is morning, all right? So basically, good morning. All right, the next one is any clay. Again, the same two words in the beginning, e and ni, kind of like you, your, and day. But the insinuation there is have a good day. So, or how was your day? So, ini kle. So we have two now, ini sogoma, and we have ini kle. Beautiful. All right, that's a good day. All right, so now we're moving forward. Ini wula. Yes, wula. Wula means evening. It's the evening. All right, so when you want to greet someone in the evening, you say ini wula. Iniwula. So now we have three. If I'm not mistaken, we have three greetings. We have any sogoma. We have any clay. And then we also have any wula. Beautiful. Now we're moving on to any su. Any su is nighttime. And it's basically saying good night. But there's a difference here. It doesn't necessarily mean like you're going to bed, good night. It, it, what it really means is that just good night. Like you could be walking down the street and see someone that's ready to go to the party. You say, any shoe, right? And any shoe is, what's up? Good night. Are, are you having a good night? All right. Beautiful. So those are the four time signatures where you would greet someone initially. You could say, one of four things. You're going to say, any sogoma? I want to hear you say it. Any sogoma? Beautiful. Let me go back so we can make sure we understand. Any sogoma? Beautiful. Any clay? Awesome. Any wula? You got it. And finally, Inisu. Inisu. Beautiful. Inisu. All right. Now, there are two different ways in which you can respond. Um, one of the things about African culture and African music and African everything is that there's always a call and response. There's a call out and then there's a response. There's so many analogies to call and response in African culture that you could think about. Um, if you are drumming and you play a call, then there's a response on other drums. There's a response with the musicians. There's a response with the dancers. If there is a call from the elders, then there's a response from the young people. Um, and that can come in many different ways. If there's a call from the mass societies, then the mass societies will respond in certain ways from the, the, the um, eldership or from the royal systems that they have. It's a very complex system. And so in our language classes today for Bamana, what we're going to learn 
is that for men, you are going to say mba. Mm-hmm. And for the ladies, you're going to say nse. Uh-huh. Beautiful. So how does it work? If I say to you and you're a, a lady, inisoguma, you're going to say nse, inisoguma. Right. Sometimes you can say nse by itself, or you can say nse and then say inisoguma back to me. Let's hear that again. Me. Inisoguma. Nse, inisoguma. Mba. Then I will say mba. Listen again. Inisoguma. Nse, inisoguma. Mba. Beautiful. Let's try that again. But this time, how do you say good day around lunchtime? Hmm. Iniwula. Iniwula. Yes, Iniwula. So this time I'm talking to a gentleman. I say, Iniwula. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Any clay. Thank you. Any clay. Any clay is good day. Iniwula is good evening. See? Sharpening my skill. So let's try it again. Any wula. Good afternoon. Any clay. Good day. So to a gentleman, good day. Any clay. Mba. Any clay. Mba. Let's try it again. Any clay. The gentleman would say mba. If he wanted to extend it, he would say good day to me. Any clay. And then I would end the exchange with mba. So listen to the call and response. I call with any clay. You, the gentleman, would respond with mba, any clay. And I would respond again with mba. Any clay. Mba, any clay. Mba. Awesome. Let's try any wula which is the evening. I got mixed up a little bit earlier. And we're going to talk to a young lady. All right? So we're going to say, Any wula? Say, any wula? Mba. Because I'm a man. So I'm going to say, Mba. For a lady, you would say, Nse. Any wula? Nse, any wula? Mba. Yes. Awesome. Let's try any shoe. Does anyone remember what any shoe means? Any shoe, not shoe, shoe. Yes, any shoe. All right. So any shoe means good night. All right. So if I talking, if I'm talking to a man and I say any shoe, he'll say mba. If he wants to ask me the same question, he'll say mba. Any shoe. And I'll say, mba. All right? I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. We're going to review it one more time. Next time when we come, we'll go even deeper. Thank you so much. And remember, kanbe. Kanbe means see you later. And then sony means soon. Kanbe, sony. Kanbe. Until next time. Peace.